What's up, world? This is Glass of Gamer coming at you with another episode of Subnautica. So, where we left off last, I started work on a small base. Uh, I threw this in off camera just to have a little aquarium going. I have a few fish. He's got a little bit of Gary in there. Little, uh, these little glowy fishes and, uh, yeah, these things, little boomerangs. So let's, uh, let's go gather some more supplies. Oh, I also put in some, uh, lockers on either end. And as I was explaining before is, I like to use these little, uh, X junctions, uh, to drop in some lockers. Makes it a little bit easier when you first walk in a door. So let's go out and gather some supplies. Hopefully we can get some more blueprints today. Those are uh, really important to find. Yes, I, re I really want to get that uh, the sub going. Uh, once we get that up and running, we can also use uh, a generator so we can get some power to the base. Right now there's no power. So it's essentially just a, uh, a base with... Can I push this rock? No, I can't push the rock. So it's just a base with nothing uh, powered. So I'm still depending heavily on my... Uh, Little escape pod. All right, what's in here? This is dark. Uh, do, do I have a flare? Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen That's... remaining. Yeah, let me get back to the surface because I'm almost dead. Almost no air. All right, perfect. Must breathe. All right, so you'll see. I actually also built a radiation suit, and I built a welder. So what I'm hoping I can do is. Possibly, I don't know, this may sound kind of crazy, but maybe uh, get out to the uh, the Aurora, take a look at it. They have birds. Yeah, I suppose they did. Never noticed that before. So, let me unload my bags first. And... Let's see, for deployables, equipment, new breather sounds pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Huh. Now I remember before to build something like a. Let's go back here one step. To build something such as a. Uh, like a watercraft, such as a. Uh, like a sub. We need to have a little. Let's see what we have. So we've got the Cyclops blueprint getting there. I've got the solar panel blueprint starting. And Seamoth, yeah, that's what I was looking for. So I guess we just need to get a titanium bigot, a power cell, two glass, and some lubricant. So I guess we don't need that little buoy anymore to uh, to build it. Hmm. Alright, let's give that a shot then. So power cell, we need to make a topple batteries. So what do we have here? We can make glass. Glass is always good. All right. So let's see. got enough copper to make two battery, or possibly a power cell. Let's go get some uh, shrooms. Okay. Here's some shrooms. Easy access. All right, that should do it. And we'll go back. We'll make a couple batteries. Then we'll make a power cell. Maybe we'll make a sea moth today. That would be awesome. Because then I can uh, maybe zoom over to the wreck without getting eaten by a leviathan. Battery. Very no oh, battery. 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 
power cell. I need some silicone rubber for that. And I know I have some. Let me put the acid shrooms and seeds in here. We don't need those right now. Get a little bit of water. Nice. All right, so let's go back to our little base here. I've been using this as a storage locker for the most part. And let's see what we have here. I think we have enough parts. Definitely have the titanium for it. Uh, silver, got plenty of that now. Let's see. Silicone rubber. That's what I was looking for. Alright, so now we'll make our battery and... Oh, shoot. That's not a good thing. Warning. Don't use your knife inside of a base because it sucks. Draining systems initiated. Okay, so that was not a good thing to do. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't swing your knife inside a base. It has... It's a really powerful knife. It just cut through metal. Through titanium. How is that possible? What is it, a light lightsaber? I mean, come on. All right, let's get back to base here. All right, so we need electronics, power cell. Perfect, now we've got a power cell. Now let's see what we need for the, where'd it go? Really? That, that, that. Where did I just see that? Uh, under footprints? I was here. So it's here. So we need a titanium ingot, two glass, actually, one more glass, and some loop again. Uh, do we have some loop here? Yes, we do. Do we have some. More glass here? No? Back to the... Well, let me make it a titanium... Ingot. Actually, I think I have titanium ingots back on the base here. And... Then we can hopefully get a seamoth going. Titanium ingot. Check. And... Glass. So one more glass. I know we've got glass somewhere. We've got to. Glass. Alright. So now we have the parts to make a, uh, a sea moth. Now if I can remember how to do it. I know we had to make, before we had to use some kind of a deployable. And I don't see that yet. Must be overlooking something. Not here. Where is that deployable buoy? Was it the buoy? Let's go back to the uh, little skate pod and we'll see what's going on here. Maybe it's over here. I remember I was. We used to be able to make it uh, pretty easily. All right. So tools? No. 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 No, I know. No, it's not there either. Hmm. I thought it used to be under deployables. Hmm. Maybe I need a blueprint for it now. Well, I guess I'll put this, uh, stuff back in just for safekeeping. Don't want to lose power cells or anything like that. All right, let's go, uh, let's go exploring. I'll take up my trusty knife and hope I don't get eaten. Time. 
those little bombs. You gotta stab them quick before they get to you. No, you little stupid parasite, get away. If I go through these little trenches, maybe I can find Oop, food. You're your water, really. Well, let's uh, go get a breath of fresh air here. Hey, Gary. Well. All right. What I get? Nothing? Did it fall? Seriously? Sometimes that happens. It falls through the roll and you can't get the drop. Come on, Gary. Come on, Gary. Here, Gary. Come on. Get my belly. Gary. You're a feisty one. Alright. Salt. Any new stuff? Copper. Uh, what are you? Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen You're an egg, remaining. But what are you? All right, let's get back to the top. Get some air. <sighs> there we go. And let's head back out. Maybe I should make another oxygen tank. Uh, I forgot to bring my flare with me. Flare would be pretty handy in here right now. Actually, maybe I should just make a flashlight. Flashlight would probably be the best bet. But at least we can see these. Silver ore, nice. I remember way back when, we couldn't find silver anywhere. I mean, you try and try and try, no silver. Now it's just everywhere. Huh. Copper was the same way, too. What's this over here? Another cave. Let me get some O2. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I might try making a rebreather a little bit down the road just to see how that is. I wonder if you truly do not need to go back up for uh, O2. Oh, yeah. I already got you. Let's see. Anything else in this trench? This dark, ominous, thing. dark cave. Nope, 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 nope. Another egg. What are these little guys? So salt. Not saying I want salt. Me salt. So I found out the hard way with these fish. If you if you take them and fight, fight. Can I scan you. So if you if you actually take the food and cook it all up first and then put it into your storage container it's just gonna rot and decay on you and then you'll uh you'll get well, it'll take a lot of water away from you instead of giving you water which is not good so i might try doing a little preserving or you know just eat as i need it might be the better way to go oh, i don't need any weed today and let's see a little bit more quartz, make some glass. Awesome. Alright, let's get up to the surface here. Oh, airbags. I need those things. Yes. These guys are extremely important because they give you water. If you can catch the freaking things. Come on. What's that? What are you? Your volcano. Let me see. Usually around the volcanoes is a lot of work. And a lot of other uh, other cool things. Maybe there's uh, some blueprints down there that I can scavenge. What's this? Uh, I don't want to burn. 
for myself. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Get some air first. Close to the wreck. It would be cool if they actually had like a little mapping system in this game. Because sometimes you can get really lost really fast. Oh, come over here, fishy. Water bag, come here. Got water bag. Check. Work works. And I need to grab that uh, keeper. Peeper, peeper, get my belly, peeper, catch you. And I need to get some uh, more flares, or actually make a flashlight. I think that would be the best bet. Get back up to get some air. Oh, I went over pretty far. So it looks like I'm really close to a volcano, which is good because there's a lot of supplies there. It's just really dangerous to get to. Let's see how much space I have left. Nothing really. Alright. We'll head back. After I stack this. Battering. Yes. You didn't see that coming, did you? Let's get aboard. And we'll process our newly found stuff. Uh, Reels, titanium. 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 I need a lot of titanium off this one. That was a good run. And glass. And glass. We'll use all this to build the base up a little bit bigger than it is. And let's see. Food. Water. I'm glad the water is a spoil. That would be pretty rough. Those little airbags, imagine that. You just suck the water right out of them. Alright, so we'll cook up a peeper. And we'll cook up Gary. And we'll cook up the boomerang. Alright. Time to eat. Munch, munch, munch. There we go. Alright, now our health is in a little better order. Except for our, our freaking health. <laughs> Let's put this in here. Uh, drop that. We'll put the water in here because it's more important to have water on hand. In case we die, we'll have a supply of it. Alright, so we got some good stuff here. Let's go put that in the other, actually into the base. Yes, that's a peeper that kind of got old and moldy, so I sort of toss it out the window. Yeah, that's how it works. Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, I'm running out of space. Let's build a another storage chest. Actually, maybe I should build another level. Let's do that. So, got enough titanium here. Let me put my copper away and silver. That stuff's really important. And I'll leave the glass here. True. Spare knife, I guess. Okay. Alright, that's good. So let's go outside and uh, do a little building. Yes, I'm building at night. Yes, there's all sorts of dangerous critters around, but hey, we can handle it. We got a knife. Uh, vertical connector. I haven't really used these yet, so let's see how they do. No? Can I... Why can't I vertically connect you? No? Why not? Can I vertically connect you? Okay, that's kind of weird. 
So I can put a vertical connection here, but I can't put one here. Can I build another multi-purpose room on top of this multi-purpose room? I can. Let's stack this up and see. All right, let's go inside, take a look and see what this does. I haven't actually used these multi-purpose rooms before, so this is pretty cool to see. How, now how do I get into it? Do I, since this, do I just throw a ladder here? Apparently that's all I have to do. But oh, what happened? No. Oh, I did go up. Well, that's pretty cool. So I could just stack these things on top of each other. The only thing I wonder is, um, strong of these without bulkheads. Uh, I don't have lithium yet. I sure don't know. If, well, that only gives two hit points. Does these give negative? Hmm. So lithium, I think, was different area. So let me, uh, so this is cool. I've learned these can stack now. That's actually really cool. Maybe I'll make another one. Although it does weaken the base, unfortunately. Can I stick another tube in this, maybe? Uh, let's try this. Oh, yeah, you can. Maybe, maybe we'll do this. Kind of like a little double decker base going on. Or maybe this? Yeah, I think I'll go this way. This way I can make uh, more connectors on it. Uh, Here we go. No, I don't want it there. There we go. Emergency. Ten seconds. Yeah, let's get some air. Air's good. And since this is kind of above it. see. Good little thing going on here. Kind of make it look like a little, uh, like a cool little base. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's add maybe another, uh, another one of these. Yeah. Just to kind of balance it out, you know, it looks pretty cool now. Almost like a little docking bay for, uh, like a sea moth or whatnot. I know I don't have the moon pool or anything like that that I've, uh, I've heard about and seen. Uh, but, you know, we're getting there. We'll start off simple, and we'll work our way up. Let me get some air first. And supplies. Good. Alright, so let's, uh, let's go see if we can get some more blueprints. Don't see. Should flare? Yeah, let's get the flare first. I'm not gonna go spelunking without a flare this time. It's pretty hard to see those little bombers. Uh, I thought I had a spare flare. Huh. Maybe it's back at the uh, back over here. Stab! Stab! All right, here we go. Now we're back. So let's see. Flare. That's what I was looking for. Perfect. So now we got a flare to play around with because it's it's pretty important to have something, you know, to uh, to light up these uh, dark caverns, and hopefully I won't get eaten too much. Did my health regen some? 
it does. I didn't know it did that. It's just a really slow process. Uh, you, your tooth. And actually, let's see if I can make it back to that volcano. Because that area had a lot of scrap metal. And where was it? I was over here, I think. Oh, there's some scrap right there. Some titanium. Yes. Can never have enough titanium. Oh, good. We got some here. What do we have? Sea glide? I think I have that one already. Yep. Hey, the Cuba. Like some sort of trench here. Let me grab some air first before we explore it. Looks like I see some metal around here as well. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. I definitely need to get that a little uh, airbag deployer. I think I'll make that because it's going to help with getting air quicker. So let's grab this one. Grab. Some more assault. Perfect. Mm, there's actually a lot of salt out here. That's good. Maybe I can actually preserve a few fish, make them last a little longer than five minutes. And what in the hell are you? You're bizarre. Bizarro fish. Grab you. I'll grab you too. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remain. Let's go get some air, and we'll come back down here. I really should make another O2 tank, along with a bladder. Come on! Yes, it's emergency. an emergency. I know. I can see the sun. Of oxygen remaining. Breathe, breathe, breathe. All right, here we go now. Going down. What is that? What are you? What are you? You look like a piece of a sub. Are you a sub? Please be a sub. Oh, yes. Cyclops fragment. Oh, yeah. One more fragment I can build a sub. If I can figure out how to build a freaking deployable. All right. I'll have to go look that up after this uh, video, and uh, we'll get that up and running. That way I can get the Seamoth and the uh, deployable. Warning, 30 wow, this seconds is going of pretty oxygen deep. remaining. I might need a Seamoth for this area. But let me grab the salt quick. And I'm going to die. I'm totally going to die for being greedy. Emergency. Ten I'm totally going to die. Oxygen yes, I'm going to die. I'm blacking out. I'm totally dead. Totally dead. Totally dead. Yes, I died. Okay, my bad. But at least I got a fragment. Yeah, that's what you get for being greedy. So, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here. And we'll call it a video. And uh, I'll look up to see how to build that uh, that Seamoth. And... Actually, the deployable, it's like a little deployable buoy that builds it for you. And uh, I'll see you next time. This is Glassic Gamer. I would like to take this time to thank all my subscribers, thank all my viewers. Thank you all so very much. Without all of you, this wouldn't be a thing. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and comment below. And as always, if you have not done so already, please subscribe. This is Glassic Gamer signing off, and I'll see you next time.